Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to make our own client for taking backup of MySQL database by using PHP code. It is very easy process if we have used PHP my admin for MySQL database, but if we want get MySQL database backup from our web application. For this we have make this video tutorial by using this tutorial we can get MySQL database backup from our web application we do not want to go to MySQL server for backup. Here we have used PHP object modal code for making database backup application. There are series of source code available but we have not found how to use PHP PDO modal for taking MySQL database backup. In this application we can also take single table backup or multiple table backup also and we can also get whole database backup also. Now let's start learning this topic. This is our testing database and in this database there is two table we will export this database into SQL file by using PHP. This is our index page and under this page we have already included query and bootstrap library link. On page load we want to display table which is created under testing database, for this first we want to make database. So here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new pro class object with three argument like my SQL host is equal to local host and database name is equal to testing. In second argument username is equal to root and in third argument password set to blank. This way we have make database connection. After making database connection now we have write dollar get all table query variable is equal to show tables. This query will return list of table. Below this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar get all table query variable. It will make query for execution. Now we want to execute query, so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. This method will execute query. After this we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. By using this method we can fetch query execution result. Now we have go to HTML code part and here we have write form method is equal to post and it is equal to export form. Under this form we will display a list of table name with checkbox, so user can select table name for get backup of selected table. For this we have write for each loop with dollar result variable as dollar table variable, by using this loop we can get table name from dollar result variable. Under this loop we have write input type is equal to checkbox, attribute class is equal to checkbox table, name is equal to table in array. In value we have write dollar table with tables in testing database and in text also we have write dollar table tables in testing database. It will display table name with checkbox and in checkbox value we have store table name. After this we have write input type is equal to submit, name is equal to submit, it is equal to submit and value is equal export, by click on this button form will be submitted to server script. Before we have write PHP server script first we want to validate any table has been selected or not. 
For this inch query code we have write dollar with submit button it submit with click function. So when we have click on submit then this code will execute. Under this first we have write count variable value is equal to zero. After this we have write dollar with checkbox class checkbox table with each method. By using this method we can fetch value of all checkbox with class is equal to checkbox table. Under this we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar this with is method with checked attribute. This condition will return true if particular checkbox is checked. If this condition return true then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write count variable is equal to count variable plus 1, here we have increase count variable value by 1. Now here we have write if statement and under condition we have write if count variable value is greater than 0 then it will execute if block of code otherwise it will execute else block. Suppose count variable value is equal to 0, then it will execute else block of code and under this we have write alert statement with this message and here form will not be submitted. But suppose count variable value is greater than 0 then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write dollar with form it export form with submit method, this code will submit form to server. Now we have write PHP code so, here we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post table variable. If this dollar post table variable value is set then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have defined one dollar output variable is equal to blank value. Below this we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar post table variable as dollar table variable, by using this loop we can fetch value of dollar post table variable one by one. Under this loop we have write dollar show table query variable is equal to show create table with value of dollar table variable, this query will return particular table definition. Below this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar show table query variable. It will make query for execution. Now we want to execute query, so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, this method will execute query. After this we have write dollar show table result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. By using this method we can fetch query execution result. Below this we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar show table result as dollar show table row variable. By using loop we can fetch data from query execution result. Under this loop we have write dollar output variable and under this variable we have append value of dollar show table row create table variable. So here we table destination code under this dollar output variable. Now here we have write dollar select query variable is equal to select star from dollar table variable. Here we have make dynamic select query for particular table. Below this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar select query variable. It will make query for execution. Now we want to execute query, so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. This method will execute query. After this we have write dollar total row variable is equal to dollar statement variable with row count method. This method will return no of rows affected by query execution.
Below this we have write dollar count variable is equal to zero, dollar count variable value less than value of dollar total row variable and count variable value increment by one. Under this loop we have write dollar single result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch method. This method fetch next row from result set in array format. In a result of array will be associative array that means in key it will return table column name and in value it return data of particular table column. So here we will make two array from this array. So first we have write dollar table column array is equal to array keys function with dollar single result. This code will make new array from dollar single result array keys. Same way we have write dollar table value array is equal to array values function with dollar single result variable. It will make new array from dollar single result array values. After this we have write dollar output variable is equal to insert into dollar table variable. Here we have make dynamic insert query for particular table which we have appended into dollar output variable. Below this we have write dollar output variable and in it we have append code like implode function with two argument. In first argument we have write comma and in second argument we have write dollar table column array variable. This code will convert this dollar table column array to string which will make table column name in insert query. Same way for values also we have write dollar output table variable and in this we have append code like implode function with two argument. In first argument we have write single quote with comma and in second argument we have write dollar table value array. This code will convert this array to string with divided with single quote with command and appended into this dollar output variable. So this way we have make dynamic complete insert query. Now here we have write dollar file name variable is equal to database backup on date function with SQL extension. Here we have make file name. After this we have write dollar file handle variable is equal to file open function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar file name variable and in second argument we have write w plus. This file open function will open file and here we have write w plus which denotes file has been open for reading and writing both purpose. After this we have write file write function and under this we have write dollar file handle variable and dollar output variable. This code will write content of dollar output variable in file. Below this we have write file close function and under this we have write dollar file handle variable. This file will close open file. Now we have write header function and under this we have write content description file transfer. Here we have define header raw content description. After this we have write header function and under this we have write content type set to application octet stream. Here we have define header raw content type. Same way we have write header function with content disposition set to attachment and file name get from dollar file name variable. It will call particular file for download. Now we have again write header function and under this we have write content transfer encoding set to binary. It specifies the encoding used to transfer the data within the HTTP protocol. After this we have write header function and under this we have write expires set to zero. Here we have define header request will be expires after download completed. Now we have write ob clean function. This function will clean or erase the output buffer. 
After this we have write flush function. This function will flush system output buffer. Below this we have write read file function and under this we have write dollar file name variable. This function will output a file. And lastly we have write unlink function and under this we have write dollar file name variable. This function will remove SQL files which is generated in folder. This whole code is for take database backup with force download file. So here our code is ready so we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends first we have load index page and after loading of index page we can see testing database 2 table like image and data with checkbox and export button. So when we have directly click on export button then we can see alert message like at least select one table. So here we have select both table and click on export button, after click on export button SQL file has been generated and downloaded in our local computer. Here we can see downloaded SQL file and in this file we can see both table definition with data also. Now we want to check this file is working or not. So first we have drop both table from testing database. After dropping of both table now we have import SQL file which we have generated here, so here we have import file. Here we can see SQL file has been imported successfully which we have generated by using PHP code. So here our code is working on how to get database backup from web application. Here we can export whole database or even we can also export single or some table also. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.